Since 2017, there are certain things that have been happening that I've been quiet about. Even if you are Listen the most famous man. person on earth, you will not give yourself to so much scandals. There are things people don't know. Even though one or two people along the line took advantage of that to just come out and say one or two things. But the reason I'm coming out to speak now is because they've done all that and discovered that I'm still moving on. They decided to make attempts on my life. I just escaped an assassination attempt where seven people were killed. My car was attacked, opened fire on my car and kept spraying it with bullets. My wife and my kids were there. The escort car with some police, they killed the policeman, they killed the other people, oh, the other escort car, the buses with us. Seven people, we are all moving in a convoy, we are killed. People who did this are expecting me to come out, mention their names, so they will come out and deny. I won't do that. But the truth of the matter is this, you can't kill me. My life is in the hand of God, I'm a man of God. And those who are among those attacking me, you are building on what you don't understand. You may have joined into the fora because you want to chase clouds, but you don't know where the fight started from. There are things you don't understand. You don't have an idea of the beginning of what happened 2017. The people who are behind it. You may come and you are doing your own thing, but it's beyond what you are thinking. I'm alive for those who have been calling and all that. I'm well. Family's fine. I feel bad for the lives that have been taken. We are mourning. But Jesus is Lord. And for all those who they killed, may they still rest in peace. And for the young men who opened fire and kept wasting people, I won't take your life. But the seed that you sow, you will reap it. I want Nigerians to know that a coordinated lie swallows an uncoordinated truth. With time, the truth will come out. All right, great people. All right. Suleiman is still lying to people. Suleiman is still lying to his state. Suleiman should tell the world the truth, how he escaped this assassination. And I want you all to pay attention to this photo that I have. I want you to look around the screen of the vehicle that Suleiman was inside. Now do you understand that bullet cannot even penetrate the glass, the car glass of Suleiman? Suleiman should tell the world the truth. Now you understand it. Suleiman should tell us how did he escape this assassination? Is it Jesus Christ that helped him to escape the assassination or because of bulletproof that he has on his car glass that is the question that you people should pose to ask Suleiman. i keep on telling you people you see all this man of dog all this prophet and prophetess that you are seeing lying to you every single day i want you people to know that these people are nobody they don't have any power they are all deceivers because of hunger and poverty, no infrastructure, now they have found safer landing by putting people in a state of imagination, giving people hope that they cannot even see or smell, now begin to stole from our people. That is why Suleiman could be able to buy a bulletproof car. And that is the reason why he also escaped this assassination. But he was there still lying to people. He's still lying to people. I want you people to understand that I don't know why Suleiman did not wake those people, those his eight, seven they killed. I don't know the reason why Suleiman couldn't wake them back to life. Let me introduce myself before I will go in details. Because Suleiman has come on my desk today. I will talk about him. And I will tell him to come and tell the world the truth. How he escaped this assassination. And they killed seven, seven of his eight. Seven hefty men died. Suleiman escaped. How did he escape? Is it Jesus that come from heaven to help him to escape? Or because of the bulletproof of his car? Make him to escape this assassination. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano.
where we always set the record straight. My names are Mazo Kenina Okechuku, known as the Biafra Child in Wachineke, the general. Now listen to the news in detail. Suleiman, the Omega Ministry Church, escaped assassination. How? <laughs> that is the question. Let me drink orange juice before I will continue. Ask Suleiman, how did he escape the assassination? Is it Jesus Christ that come from heaven to help him? Or because of his bulletproof car that he shot many times, even bullet could not penetrate the waist cream, the glasses of Suleiman vehicle. That is how Suleiman escaped it. At the end, Suleiman said, May the body of those they killed rest in peace. Oh, so Suleiman cannot bring those people back to life. Is it what you people are telling me? He was there. They shot them dead. They shot them till they died. Does it mean that Suleiman cannot bring them back to life? Every Sunday, you will see Suleiman in his church, raising the dead people, making the crippled to walk, blind to see. He's making miracle, money miracle, on telephone. You receive a lot. But Suleiman could not wake people they just killed in front of him, bring them back to life. Now you begin to understand that all these people are liars. Suleiman will go and buy one liter or 20 liter of olive oil. Begin to pour it inside a bottle like this. Begin to sell to you all. Telling you people that this will save your life. But Suleiman was saved because of his bulletproof that he have on his car. That is why Suleiman escaped this assassination. And they killed seven of his aides. And he could not bring them back to life. Tomorrow he will still come back again and begin to do miracle to you all. And you people will be clapping. Man of God, man of God. People that are next to God. You people knows nothing. I want you people to know that the God that you are waiting for, or the God that you are about to see, or you will see in your life, is the government. They are those that are going to provide you things that you need to be protected by security, by, you know, you know, guiding the places. This thing has been happening not today. They have been assassinating our people every single day. None of you will escape this thunder that is coming. It has happened to see a man. Now he understand. Nobody is above all this full and that are coming with jihadism. You cannot escape it. One day they will come for you. Like I always tell my people, full and they don't have target. They, you know, you will be in a wrong place at a wrong time, then you become the target. You will be a wrong place at a wrong time, then you become the target. Suleiman is still lying to you all. Suleiman, I'm challenging you why or go and bring those your eight, seven hefty men they killed, bring them back to life. You are doing miracle every day. You are you are raising death every day. You are making blind to see. You are making cripple to walk. But seven people were dead in front of you. You couldn't raise them. You were hiding using a bulletproof. That is why you escape it. Now have you understand that olive oil can never save you. Holy water in a bottle like this can never save you. All these prophet and prophetess, man of dogs, idiots, your daddy G.O., they can never help you. All of them, they have people that are guiding them. They have armies. They have everything. Seven eights, seven men with hefty guns, bullet and assorted rifles. They were guiding Suleiman. All of them were shot to death. Suleiman escaped it because of his bulletproof car. And he's there telling you Jesus. Now telling you people that the life of those that they were killed will rest in peace. And I don't know why Suleiman couldn't bring them back to life instant. 
now you begin to understand that all these people they are just a bunch of idiots lying to you telling you to come and sow seed telling you to come and uh, uh, you know uh, put offering that he will give you life upon life that is a play a better play for you but Suleiman that is promising you heaven are now using a car full of bulletproof hey, nah, eh. who who did this to you people who make you people why black people can even reason or have inability to reason and understand that all these people call themselves man of god they are man of lucifer they have no power there is nothing in them they are just charlatans they are in suleiman is an inconsequential that is why he's keep on lying to people never tell people because of the bulletproof that is why he escaped the assassination Suleiman, you are a liar and i have told the word and i keep on telling the word i want you people to circulate these videos for Suleiman to come out again and begin to tell us the reason why he escaped this death if it's not that bulletproof Suleiman supposed to join those seven of his eight that they were shot to death that he could not bring back bring them back to life just go and get sense get sense get sense you people should go and get sense make one go receive sense now go receive sense tomorrow he will still come uh, jesus christ tell him uh, god will tell him he sleep tell him that is how a man come out on his church begin to rant and talk all sort of rubbish that evil people do this evil people do that he don't even know that they will come for him now he's hiding, telling you people he know those people. He's lie. Suleiman, go and thank you, Kabiama, that you survived this one, and they will still come because you people are all idiots. Good day and welcome.